Hey friends, welcome back to the Dave Yourself channel. I'm Dave. As you see, I still have my red apron on because we're still working on this project. Now we're going to go ahead and move on toward the plane. Let's go ahead and discuss a little bit things that need to be done to the plane. I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot because, again, it's going to be kind of a custom repaint, but not necessarily a super detailed custom repaint. Just going to make it black and yellow and things like that and put some decals on it. Kind of want to just make match the car, obviously. So uh, what we're going to be working with here today is we've got some things such as the cockpit that we need to look at. Uh, this particular cockpit, I'm probably going to obviously take the glass off at some point. Um, but for the painting process, I'm going to leave it on here because I need to tape up the glass portion. I'm going to leave the uh, spars and the framing exposed so I can get that painted. Probably going to do this uh, yellow here and then do the bottom part of the foam black maybe. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll use something like... Uh, we'll go ahead and protect these areas here before we paint those. I'll show you what we do with that. I'll use some simple techniques with that. And then, of course, <clears throat> with this plane, of course, you have to glue in the tail, uh, the stabilizers and all that in the rear. So you can't really take the plane apart so much. I can take the wings off, but I'm not going to worry about that so much. I do have the magnets here, as you see, on both strips. So we need to secure those in place before we do anything like that. We're going to do that with some hot glue smear. Uh, and then we need to take off the... Uh, control rods and all of that kind of stuff. I want to cover up these servos here, like I said, with that <clears throat> clear box tape, that duck tape. Uh, I want to go ahead and cover these up as well, just so it's a nice flat surface. That way, when we paint it over, you don't see all of that. And then from there, uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get this plane painted. From the paint that I'm thinking about here, uh, probably something, like I said, I have these uh, couple sets of different decals. So... I got these, of course, I need to get on there, which are, I got three of these. I have these armies here that we can use. I was thinking maybe something, maybe do uh, this area here uh, yellow and then put the army logos there. Or maybe do the front of the plane yellow and put the army logos here on the front um, from this particular kit because that's about the size that those are. And then as far as the stars go, I'm probably going to do a star on each wing, of course, and then maybe an American flag on each wing, one on the top, one on the bottom, same with the stars. Uh, maybe use these U.S. Army logos as opposed to the other ones. So we've really got some things to play with and think about. We've got some options, so that's good stuff. But right now, like I said, we're going to do the things that need to be done, such as taking this plane apart for what needs to come apart. Then we're going to need to go ahead and tape up this cockpit, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, do some... Uh, protection and packing of this thing so that we don't get paint in areas we don't want paint and then we're going to go ahead and get it painted but like i said first things first <clears throat> i'm going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way we need to go ahead and work on securing the magnets that are in the paper tape there to the bottom of the plane there's really no reason to go a different route at this point because i know this will work so how we do something like that like i said we use the uh, paper tape and hot glue so these are already glued in place uh, with CA glue and kind of pressed into the foam a little bit. And then I just covered them in paper tape, but they've not been secured in place. So they technically could still pull out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some hot glue. I've got it on a hot setting, which is fine because I'm just going to be doing it on the paper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a thin smear of this glue all over this paper. Try to keep it away from the actual top contact portions of the magnets themselves. Uh, but do it all around the paper on both sides and go ahead and secure that in. So here we go. All right, friends. So there we go. We've go ahead. We've got the uh, one area of the um, magnets actually glued in now. And let's go ahead and take a look at that on a little bit of a closer end there. And you can see how the uh, paper tape kind of gets a little bit translucent as you add the hot glue to it. And you saw me basically using just the, the, you know, not really squeezing out the tip a ton, just enough to keep it sliding across the tape, using it basically like paint. And I'm just painting the paper tape, trying to keep it off the plane itself, but keep it on the paper tape 
just a little bit off the paper tape so that the thin the edges onto the plane, which will help it stick there. But you can see a big difference there and how that's going to help secure those on there. And uh, now we'll do that with this side. And here we go. So there we go. Now we've got the other set tape glued on there. So now I won't have to worry about them pulling out. And they will also help protect when maybe we miss the car, which is probably going to happen. Uh, when it scrapes across the ground, it won't rip the magnets out, hopefully, right away. Hopefully. That's the plan. This usually stuff, this uh, paper tape hot glue combo works pretty good. So I've never really tried it so much in really an abrasion type test. But uh, I think it should hold up pretty well. So we'll see about that. All right, so we got that portion done, and now really the next thing to do is, I guess, go ahead and take the uh, parts out that we need to get out of there. So let's go ahead and get ourselves, like I said, we're going to reuse the tape container here to put those parts in. Now let's see if I remember if these clevises and stuff are difficult or not. They are not. Okay. If they were, then I would try to get a tool. But we should be all right here. Okay. All right. Here's that one. Goodness. Those holes are tight. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, here we go. Okay. And yeah, let's get the other two. All right. That's a little easier. Now, when you saw me uh, working the gun there, maybe in the fast motion, you may have noticed um that i was using kind of a cross hatch method when it came to melting initially i'd put a pretty good coat on kind of circle it around and i'd go back and use that and kind of sur swim it in with some circles and then i'd go back and do it this way and then i'd go back and do this way and then i'd go back with the flat part of the nozzle and then i do in between here so you can kind of see that there were some different techniques there to help really work that glue into that paper tape to really get it to grab onto that plane below there. Um, so that you may have noticed that. Maybe not. If not, I pointed it out just a All right. <laughs> so, all right. So the other thing is now that we've got the servo horns out, go ahead and push these servos arms down and as far back as they'll go. There we go. All right. And... Where's the box tape? All right, so I'm um, not going to worry so much about the landing gear nub in the front. I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. It certainly will be an issue if you're landing on the ground. Of course, if we miss, I'll try to land in the grass if possible. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that so much. So really here, all I'm going to really need to do so much is just um, tape up these servos back here with some of this yellow tape. And then we need to tape up the cockpit. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some paper tape or some of this hot, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go and apply some of this box tape over the servos and the servo lines here, like I said, to make them just one long, smooth area that will be covered by paint. So let's see about that. This duck stuff is not great on boxes, but it works pretty good on foam, believe it or not. So, got my knife here somewhere. In my apron, of course. That's where I'm wearing my apron. Buzz am. All right, this way more than I need, but let's fit it in there. Flush against the wing there. 
and it's just wide enough for one side of the tape to cover the servo connector, the other side of the tape to cover the servo itself. All right. So then smooth that down. And we will uh, really need to cut this off, but for painting's sake, we'll leave it. We'll just cut the excess off right there. All righty. So this is how that looks. You can't really tell it looks a lot different. Let me try this here with the, with the light, maybe. Okay, so you can see there it is there, as opposed to the other one. That way, when I cover, when I paint over it, it'll be all, all one color kind of thing and all smooth. I won't have to worry about it too often much. So that's the plan for that. There. All right. Let's do the other one. All right. Both taped up. You can see them both now smoothed out. So now, when the paint, when I paint over them, it'll cover those servo arms there. When I worry about paint getting on them, I can just cut a little slit in there later for those to come back out. And uh, like I said, it'll, it'll cover those wires and everything like one big just smooth panel. You won't notice it when it's painted. All right. So then the other thing to do is, of course, these uh, servos here. So let's just grab a little bit of that yellow pipe, that yellow frog tape. Ribbit, ribbit, and uh, really, what I want to do is just pretty much cover the edge here at the tip. I don't need to cover the whole servo. Just want to cover the gears. So we'll do that. Squeeze it on there pretty good. There we go. That's all we need to do there. Like I said, we don't need to cover the whole servo thing because we'll cover that with paint. All right, it's the same process here. Wrap it around the gears and tape it to itself and smush it flat. All right, okay, dokey. There's that. Now, before we can paint anything, obviously, we need to work on this cockpit off. We'll address that here later. But while the cockpit is off, we can address one of the other main problems, which is too many holes. You're not going to hear me saying that a lot in life, but in this particular case, it is true. So what we're going to do to cover those up is we're going to use <laughs> some Dollar General bags. <laughs> All right, so let's grab my Sharpie here so I can help shove stuff in. I will just use... These types of bags to do the work we needed to do. You know what I'm saying? And we can cover it with a little bit of tape just to hold it down in there. But that should at least keep everything from getting clogged up in there. Now I'm going to get some more bags, but you get the idea here. They will also go here. But here we will stick them. Blue stick right here. We'll stick these deep inside so that we can paint the paint the interior scoop. Okay. And then the same process here. Shove it in the rear. 
Uh, all right. There we go. All right. And then the only other thing we need to do is uh, cover the ESC. But to be honest with you, I'm not going to worry about that a whole heck of a lot. I might just uh, lightly dust that, just specifically spray around it, and then just kind of give it a light dust. Uh, a little bit of paint on the on that ESC is not going to be a ton. I don't want a ton of paint on it, though. All right. So same kind of process. So I need to go get some more bags and uh, fill these other two holes. But then next we'll be ready to prime it. So stick around for that. All right, friends. So we got this plane all prepped up and ready to roll. I've got all the control surfaces, our control rods and such all removed. I've got the servo arms that need to be taped, taped up. I have the plastic bags inserted and all the appropriate holes, including the cockpit up here, as well as some additional tape up here on the cockpit to help keep that down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prime it gray, and I'm going to save you the spirit of that. So uh, here it is in gray. And so there we go. Now it's all gray, like just like that. <laughs> so I've got it all primed up. Now all I need to do is kind of noodle out how I want to do the black and the yellow and all that, and then, of course, get the decals on. Also need to go ahead and work on this cockpit itself. I'll do that in a separate video since there'll be some more detail that needs to go into this, including how to remove the actual plastic itself. I'm going to go ahead and put the decals in on the cockpit. Probably going to go ahead and remove that pilot uh, or shorten the seat behind him, but somewhere to put a camera in here. And then we're going to go ahead and get this uh, canopy paint uh, taped up, then to get it painted. But first, I want to get an idea of what this paint scheme on the plane needs to be, and then we'll do the cockpit last. But at this point, you can kind of see that looks pretty sweet. And this gray color is definitely pretty dang nice. <laughs> I don't know why they don't make this thing in gray already. You can kind of see where the uh, magnets are now, a little bit easier to see. And you can also see the uh, taped areas with the uh, where the servos used to be now. Those are all smooth, just like I was talking about. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this would be a really neat uh, plane to do as a duplicate of the uh, Aeros F-15. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll call Cali Graphics if I get some of those decals for that. But nonetheless, that's a different project. This one right here is the Army project. And next up, we're going to be coming out with using the black paint and the yellow paint, figuring out how that needs to go on here. So if you want to see this particular project continue to progress, you know what I recommend you do? Uh, you uh, stick around. All right, friends, so now we're back. We're getting ready to go ahead and do the painting on the uh, plane itself with the black and the yellow. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of keep it minimal. Uh, I think I, what I do want to do is I want to have the front of the cockpit area here yellow, uh, maybe some wing tips that are yellow, and maybe some splash of yellow possibly up here in the upper fins. Uh, but I'm basically going to have most of it black. just want to do some splashes of yellow. So to do that, of course, I think what we'll do is we'll... Uh, Obviously, we'll work on this later, like we mentioned. Um, but we're going to bring out the uh, yellow frog tape. And uh, I think what I'll do is, like I said, I want to have the cockpit yellow. Um, so there's kind of a, I'm going to turn it here for you and get a little closer, you can see. Uh, there's kind of a, um, you know, a little bit of an angle here. So what I think I'll do is I'll have this yellow comes all the way up through here. And then the entire front here yellow, but then this will be black, and then black to here, maybe some yellow out on the edges, and then maybe, like I said, something that runs up through the tail here. So what we'll do is start working on taping off the front of the cockpit here, and of course, so when you're doing something like that, you definitely want to uh, kind of get an idea of what your tape looks like first. So you know about how much you're going to need. Okay. And then from there, it's a good idea to stick it on your shirt. Once or twice, even though it's the gentle frog tape. Just to make sure. And then from there, I'm just going to run it as close as I can to the edge of the plane here. Okay. And down on the side. So it's kind of off the hump a little bit. But that's kind of the way it was wanting to flow. So I'm not going to mess with the flow. So I'm just going to 
do that. I technically don't even really need the nose on there. That's going to be solid yellow, so we'll just take that off. All right. So that's how we'll do that first piece, and then uh, let me go ahead and do the second piece. So uh, I'm going to do that in uh, fast motion. So there we go. That's kind of what that's going to look like there. Got that all kind of pushed in and formed up. I'll put a little bit of a little piece of a triangle or something down here at the very back. We'll see how that looks out. Uh, but it might be okay as is if I can just bend that over appropriately. But that should take care of the top part. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of the cockpit uh, area here. And then I'm going to want the tape to also run here. Maybe this will still be yellow and fade into black here because this will all be black. So uh, uh, let's work on that. Alright friends, so there we go. We've got the uh, cockpit area all taped up there. So it looks pretty good. Now as far as the lines themselves coming off the wings, I do have some angles here that are already kind of pre-molded in a little bit. So let's see like I've uh, got some, you know, some of the panel lines and things of that nature. Also have this little curved panel line, not curved, but angled, so it's angled back toward the tail. Um, but I think what we might do is maybe something along, maybe something along this line goes all the way across and then that'll be a yellow stripe or come off that angle onto the tail maybe. Like that. Hmm. Well, let's see here. This isn't going to pull the paint off or anything, but still at the same time. All right, so let's go ahead and just cut a piece here and see what we've got as far as the overhead view idea here. All right. Um, let's see, I'm going to have the upper fins black, I believe, because that's where the army starters are going to go. So, like I said, I think we'll just do something on the tail here. And off to the side. What about something like this? Come off this angled line back here on the elevator. And then bring that all the way up here, like that. Okay. And then we'll do this also yellow. in the right place. Should 
should be able to use that right here. Alright. So everything that's in yellow will be yellow. Okay. That's kind of the idea we're working with here so far. Alright. That'll be yellow. Everything else will be black. Alright. Let's work on the other side. All right, friends, so there we go. I think that uh, it's going to look pretty good. I think the rest of the plane being black with the uh, army stickers on it ought to be pretty sweet, but I think this looks pretty darn good right there. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a coat of black. Actually, I've got a little extra, extra tape we've got to put right here. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and give the top uh, the black paint, and then the bottom uh, we're going to remove the tape from the bottom, or at least pull it back, and then we'll go ahead, except for down here, put off the wings and all that, and paint the bottom of that solid black. Uh, so we're not going to worry about doing too much touch-up on the bottom <laughs> as it scrapes across the ground. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing up. Uh, primed and uh, painted black. So uh, I'm going to spare you that, of course. So uh, here it is in black. And now it's black. There you go. <laughs> I went ahead and took off the uh, yellow tape already in the areas that I had taped off. So you can kind of see now that where it's gray is going to be yellow. Uh, but as of right now, this plane is coming along pretty sweet. Pretty excited about that. I do like this black and gray combo. It does look pretty darn sweet, but I think it's going to look even sweeter once we get all these uh, accents painted yellow and put the decals on and all that. And speaking of that, that's going to come up in the next particular video. I think this one's been long enough. I do appreciate you sticking around for, with me through this particular journey. Uh, the next particular video, though, is going to be doing the yellow portions for the plane, uh, doing the cockpit itself, as well as cutting out the decals and getting those applied. But for this particular video, I think we are done here. So I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your views and your thumbs ups and your comments. I greatly appreciate those as well. And I've gotten some comments about the actual uh, rack system, the cradle for the car. I'm going to do some modifications for that based on some of the comments I'll be getting. So thank you so much for those and keep those coming. But until next time, I am Dave. This is the E-Flight F-15 64mm EDF jet. That is a bind and fly. Never been flown. We're going to try that here soon, too. <laughs> I know. I've already painted it. No. But anyway, nonetheless, until next time, we are out of here. Nice. Doink.